All right, men, so that vegan teacher, right? Oh, do we ever know this absolute specimen of a woman, dude? I have made so many videos talking about her on my channel, it's unreal. Now, I was actually gonna make this video talking about her sooner, but for some reason, my last vegan teacher video got taken down for violent or graphic content for whatever reason i don't know now thankfully i was able to send in an appeal and the video went back up and i'm still kind of confused as to why the video went down in the first place but okay youtube all right now for those of you that don't know who that vegan teacher is that vegan teacher is a psycho tiktok vegan karen that likes to sit here and show her veganism lifestyle and her veganism ideologies down everybody's throat like i mean everybody's throat it's unreal so try to guilt trip you into becoming vegan by saying stuff like oh you're paying for murder you're gonna go to hell this and that it's really dumb now vegan teacher is kind of known for making these really awful songs about veganism and why you need to become vegan today for example this hurting animals is wrong mcdonald's hurting animals is wrong mcdonald's share this song and change your entire menu to be vegan from now on now vegan teacher isn't just known for her awful music she also has the most brain dead opinions about veganism like ever and i think it's no surprise that she'd call out somebody like gordon ramsay now gordon ramsay is quite possibly one of the most famous chefs in the world and surprise surprise he isn't really vegan so it shouldn't really be a shocker that vegan teacher is trying to go after him and she has been going after him for quite a while now she's made brain dead tiktoks towards him like this hello students we're going to be reviewing the work of gordon ramsay Ramsey, who has 15 million followers here on TikTok. And I'm going to speak to you directly, Gordon. So Gordon, one of the problems that I noticed that you have is you don't seem to understand the difference between food and animals. So food is something that you get out of the ground or you take it from a tree. Now, animals are alive. They are sentient beings like us, like chickens and cows, sheep, pigs, you know, these things are not actually foods. So I think you really need a little lesson in sort of remembering about that. Now, surely you learned the animal names when you were younger. So just go back and review that. And from now on, it would be really great if you started to cook actual food and just let the animals live. Now, I think it's pretty obvious that Vegan Teacher lacks a lot of understanding about the food chain and how the world works in general. Yeah, surprise, surprise, dumbass animals eat other animals. Also, by your logic, isn't eating plants also a bad thing because, you know, they're technically living things? Yeah, they don't have a brain, but they're living things. So, by your logic, isn't being vegan technically a plant genocide? You guys get the point. It's most brain dead stuff. Now, the songs I mentioned earlier, she's been singing them to a lot of people, such as, like, other YouTubers, and recently, she's made a song towards Gordon Ramsay saying that he needs to become vegan and eating animals is wrong. And Gordon Gordon Ramsay ended up noticing this TikTok, I'm assuming because, you know, vegan teachers been talked about a lot lately, and he ended up duetting the TikTok, and uh, I can't lie to you, it was pretty funny. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Share this song, and if you call me a donut, that's fine. Vegan what donut. Now, as you guys can see there, that was actually a pretty funny TikTok, I can't lie. I mean, the fact that vegan teacher sits here and, like, tries to preach veganism and shove it down everybody's throat, it actually gets annoying. Because you gotta realize that, you know, you can try to educate somebody on an issue, and if you're becoming vegan and you're trying to spread the message out of the goodness of your own heart, you know what, man, that's fine. Power to you. But vegan teacher only pretends to do it out of the goodness of her own heart. She's only doing it because she wants an excuse to shame people for eating meat. Because she likes to say that she's a normal vegan, but she's really not. Because normal vegans, you know, they actually mind their own business and they're not trying to force other people to become vegan you know maybe they make like a youtube video or something trying to educate people about veganism but if you don't accept veganism or it's not your thing they're fairly understanding about it and they won't try to force it on you anymore but vegan teacher if you disagree with her she'll just keep shoving it down your throat more and more she legit has no concept whatsoever of respecting other people for what they are you know different and accepting the fact that everybody's gonna have their own preferred diets i mean if somebody's consuming dead fetuses then yeah you should call them out for it because that's obviously wrong but if i'm eating a cheeseburger and you're gonna slap it out of my hand and bitch me out saying I'm eating a dead animal and you're gonna sit here and tell me to respect your lifestyle and you can't even respect mine? Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna respect you. You see, I would respect you, vegan teacher. If you respected me and other people for not being vegan, you see, there's got to be that mutual respect there. Because, bro, I'm sorry, but I don't give a fuck if I'm eating a cheeseburger and you're gonna be like, oh my god, that, that's, that, 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 that's a dead cow. That, that's a dead whatever. I don't care. If the damn food tastes good, yeah, you can bet your ass I'm gonna eat the food. Your moral compass is irrelevant to me. 
because that's not my lifestyle. Yeah, you can have your own moral compass. You can be vegan, but it's not for me because I don't care about that. And I love how she wants to be taken super, super seriously. Like, there's TikToks where she's like all mad and stuff, talking about how animals die, and then the next day she's singing some stupid song about veganism. Like, is it really a shocker nobody takes you seriously? And I don't get what she gets out of making these awful songs because not only is she A, giving people more material to make fun of her for, but B, it's not really gonna convert anybody to want to become vegan at all because they're gonna be too busy laughing at you for the pure stupidity of your song. And vegan teacher, you sit here and you call everybody else that isn't vegan and criticizes you vegan phobic when you do realize that. The reason people reject your lifestyle and reject your ideologies and don't want to apply to their own lives is because the way you go about it, you see, when you try to educate somebody nicely about your lifestyle, then yeah, maybe they're more inclined to, I guess, listen to you and maybe consider it. But once you start shoving it down their throat and you're being a dick about it, then they're more likely to reject your lifestyle and not listen to you because they look at vegans and they say, oh wow, that's a very unreasonable, closed-minded group of people. How about I don't listen to them and I just keep doing what I'm doing? And that's a very good example of this Gordon Ramsay TikTok. Look at the caption. Beef hashtag burgers were consumed while making this TikTok. Vegan teacher, you see how your mission to make the entire world and the entire planet vegan isn't gonna work out simply because the way you go about it and well, it's physically impossible to go door to door around the world and convert them all to veganism. There's always gonna be those few people that refuse to embrace your lifestyle and they're gonna keep rejecting it. And can we just appreciate how perfect this crossover really is? I mean, we got a vegan teacher here, right? Who's dumb as a pile of rocks, right? Her brain doesn't really work. And then you have Gordon Ramsay who's kind of known for being a bit of an asshole, you know, making fun of the dumb people. And then you got vegan teacher singing some dumb stuff to him. And then you got Gordon Ramsay retaliating and making fun of you and just eating a beef burger, you know, right in front of a vegan. It's just wonderful, dude. It's a wonderful match. It's a wonderful crossover. I would have never expected to see. Now, as much as I don't really like vegan teacher, I will say she is kind of a genius for this. I mean, the more she goes after these big YouTubers and these big celebrities, the more and more they're going to keep making fun of her and they're going to keep retaliating. And since vegan teacher's whole, I guess, online career is built off of her being made fun of and being known as the person that really isn't that bright, then yeah, this is going to help her a lot. Although I have noticed that commentary channels and I guess the people making fun of vegan teacher are profiting way more than she is because they get way more views than her. And the TikTok CPMs are actual garbage. But I guess the longer her name is in the light, the more and more she's going to get made fun of and the more and more she's going to keep profiting off of it. And hey man, the longer she's relevant, the more content I get out of it to make for you guys, the more my channel will grow and the more joy I'm going to get out of making these videos just making fun of her for her pure stupidity. I don't really know where this whole thing is going to go with, you know, her and Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay posted this TikTok about like four hours ago and it has like five million likes, which is crazy. I think this is obviously way bigger than the whole Tommy in it vegan teacher stuff. So vegan teacher, I guess, just keeps responding to him and they just keep going at it in TikTok duets and it's going to be not only unlimited content for me, but it's just going to be really funny to see and just laugh at them because you got, as I said, vegan teacher who's dumb and Gordon Ramsay, the asshole, going at it over TikTok to us, man. What a wonderful way to start the new year. Anyways, man, that's all I got for you today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to go down below and leave a like on it. And if you guys enjoyed the video and watch till the end, comment down below the word cracker and I'll go and hurt your comment. If you guys want to see more videos like this, go down below, hit that subscribe button. Also, enable all notifications. Yes, all notifications. Oh, you actually get notified every time I upload. My social medias are down in the description below. So if you guys want to go, you know, follow those, you can. Links down below. If you guys want to see more videos like this, uh, there should be a playlist in the cards right now. And, you know, you can click one of the videos on screen right now. Anyways, man, thank you for watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Have a good day.